Festivals are a wondrous mixture of music and art that provide a world away from the mundane. To be able to attend a music festival is both a privilege and an endeavor. It's an honor and an expedition. As a standard festival goer, we have many different things we have to prepare our booties for. And as a Glover, there are even more things to prepare. I'm making this video as a reminder to myself of what I shouldn't forget to bring to my first festival this weekend, Infrasound Family Reunion. So if you have any ideas of things that you typically forget when you go to a festival, put them down in the comments. Maybe it'll help me out. And on the off chance that any of you are going to Infrasound Family Reunion at Harmony Park this weekend, come find where I'm going to be camped. I'm going to be hosting gloving workshops in my dome every day at night. So here are the top five things to remember before a festival for glovers. Number one, charge your batteries and change your batteries. Make sure your cameras, your portable charge packs, your phones, and most importantly, the gloves themselves are charged and ready to go. If you show up to the event drained, you're gonna have a bad time. Number two, bring extra, 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 extra white gloves and batteries too. Festivals are dirty. Plan for at least two fresh pairs of whites per night. This might sound expensive, but I promise you, having fresh gloves consistently will be worth every penny in terms of comfort and aesthetics for you and the viewer. Nobody likes having dirty, sweaty gloves in their face. Number three, get consent and look out for your peers. This should be self-explanatory these days, but somehow it's still lost on people at these events and it is too important to ignore. Not everybody at the event will want you to give them a light show, and that's okay. Not everybody is interested in your flow art, and that's totally fine. Just like a romantic encounter, you need to acquire consent before you invade someone's personal space. There is absolutely no excuse for this. Number four, love everybody, but trust nobody. Festivals are a fun environment surrounded by people like you. But that doesn't mean everybody is there to be your friend. This isn't to say that you should treat anyone with anything other than kindness and love. But you also don't have to trust them either. Be cautious of everyone you don't know and definitely don't lend out your gloves or other valuables just because they ask nicely. And especially don't lend them out if they try to guilt you. Number five, don't be afraid to ask someone you know to record you. Basically just shut the fuck up and post a light show. I'm sorry, was that aggressive? The message is accurate though. Don't let that head ass anxiety stop you from giving light shows at the fest. And 100% don't let it stop you from asking one of your friends nearby to record your light show. You will 100% regret not getting festival light show footage. And as your father, I would ground you for not logging your festival light show experience on camera. Just do it, post light show. And there you have it. Those are the top five things to remember before you go to a festival. And you can actually find me this weekend at Infrasound Family Reunion if you're here in Minnesota. But thanks for watching all the way to the end. And remember that I'm giving away a $200 Amazing Lights gift card at 2,000 subs. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video with all your friends, and make sure that they know that I'm giving away this card too. And thanks again to everyone who's already purchased my book. We're almost sold out.